Hey guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha coming at you live. So I decided I've got way so much going on this morning. My whole routine has been kind of taken off track this morning. So I wanted to, first of all, I hope that I'm not just sharing with myself at this point. Oh yeah, I have someone on there. Hi, hello Tabby. So I thought I would share with you guys kind of a little bit of... <laughs> A little morning ritual going on, which I'm very slack of this morning. Hey, Christina. Hey, Cleveland. I've been really slack this morning, but y'all know I went and bought this. I am so proud of this thing. So, vitamins are super, super, super important. Hey, Brenda. So, I got this from, I think, Walmart or Amazon. One of those online companies. I already pre-measured all my vitamins out. Taking those. Because I'm late. And that's my regimen. Hey, Sherry. Hey, hey, hey. So I got that out of the way. So I thought I would show you guys how I, I'm, you know, always doing, always busy, always got lots of stuff going on. So what I wanted to do and show y'all how I kind of evaluate what I'm going to eat for lunch. You know, a lot of people ask, do you have a meal plan? Hey, Carmen, what do you do? How do you do it? I am a fly by the seat of your pants, messy action kind of girl. Hey, Beverly. So if y'all are messy action kind of girls and you just go and like, skirt, it's time to eat, then y'all drop me a one below because y'all are my people. Because I'm not a meal planner. I'm not like, oh, I got my whole meal planned out. Oh, I went and got groceries for this whole week. I am just not that organized. That is not who I am. So I'm the messy action girl that just gets it done. So I wanted to show y'all what I did. And so... I've got my little plate there, but what I thought is, this is my process. So, I wanted y'all to know my thought process. So I said, well, I kind of want a tortilla. My bag busted, but these are Mama Lupe's. Three net grams of carbs. And I just bought, I am so glad, one not a meal planner. That's me, Beverly. I know the romaine had a bad um, little run, but romaine is back in hopefully a good thing. So my daughter, she bought the romaine for me. It's really good for doing stuff like this. So I've got some romaine. Christina, you're my messy action girl too. I love it, love it, love it. I have about, and y'all, I, I use Ziplocs all the time. Containers are just too large for my little refrigerator. So just a little quick tip. My leftover salad fits real nice into a Ziploc. The good thing about Ziplocs are you know what's in your package. I also have some olives, a great source of fat. And in my salad, I have avocado, another great source of fat, and my leftover tuna. So I don't know who was tuned in for the tuna thing, but if you were not tuned in for the tuna, you need to be eating some tuna, even if it's just a little bit, a dab will do you. So I want you to guys to see how I would do this start to finish. Let me get my little, I don't want my tortillas to get wet, so I'm gonna wipe that off. Um, and y'all y'all tell me how long you've been doing keto. Drop me some comments below and tell me how long you've been doing keto. I'm going to give y'all a dressing recipe too that is amazing. Of course, made by my beautiful daughter. And so she tells me like what she does and then I kind of figure it out from there. So we are going to make her little dressing first. So what I've got is I've got tortillas. I've got my leftover tuna. I've got my leftover salad, some black olives, November. Very good, Barbara. All right, so now we're going to make our dressing. So basically, um, I'm going to make my dressing first, then I'm going to put all this together so y'all can see the whole deal of it all. So I'm going to start with, I love to make it all. I'm going to put it in my own little, hey, Priscilla, hey, Sean, hey, Angela, Keto since January 1st. What? Hey, Melissa. I've been doing keto since last August and September. So, you guys have been doing it for a good little minute. Awesome. Awesome. So, I found these, like, my daughter found them. She does my shopping for me. She's amazing. If y'all have not watched her yet, she is, like, the dessert queen. She is turning into a little mini me in the kitchen, and I love it. Hey, Cheryl. So, I buy these, and we put um, hot sauce and ranch in one. For a nice little dip for our wings or for our meat or whatever. And then this one is like a, a honey mustard type base. So what she says is, and mayonnaise, I do this because it tastes good, number one. And number two, it is better than, it's lower carb than the ranch. And y'all know I've been kind of trying to back off my carbs just a little bit. So I'm going to put, y'all know, y'all know they ain't. Let me, let me just show y'all how terrible I am at measuring what a tablespoon is. Let's see how far off I actually am. So, one tablespoon. This is going to be interesting to see. 
Because I know I don't know what a tablespoon looks like. And that is for real, for real. Okay, so any of y'all like me and this thing drives you maddening. So I'm just going to fix this right now. Watch. Ugh. I'm just going to lose the ring. Because I'm just a messy. I'm just going to look for these as I need them. Because I cannot stand that they're all together. Hey, Donald. So um, let's see how far off I am. Y'all, this is bad. Okay, so now I know... I obviously cannot measure a tablespoon. This is funny. All right, so my big tablespoon is actually two regular tablespoons. Hey, Lenny girl. So we're just going to, um, you know, I was just curious as to how bad I was at measuring. Obviously very bad. Hey, Christine. So I'm going to just take four scoops. We'll just call it four scoops or five scoops. Five scoops of mayonnaise. And we are going to put that in my bowl. And I just use regular old Duke. Some people make their own mayonnaise, which is absolutely fine. Y'all know I'm too, I'm too, uh, I ain't got time for that. I'm doing good to make this. So, um, I also use Heinz No Sugar Added Ketchup. It is one gram for one tablespoon. So, where is that little pesky tablespoon at? I'm actually going to measure this tablespoon because I want to know how many squeezes... It takes. I want to know what a tablespoon really looks like. So I'm not even filled this up. Katie, mama needs some more ketchup. <laughs> I, I tell her all the time things to put on the list. So that's almost a tablespoon, but it's just shy of it. So that little joker's empty. And then I'm going to do uh, probably a tablespoon. Came in late. What you making? All right. So I'm just kind of throwing together some leftovers, Lindy. And I'm going to do uh, not quite a full tablespoon of mustard. I am uh, throwing together my dressing. It's kind of like a honey mustard dressing or a yum yum dressing. So let's call this yum yum dressing. I'm going to get some pepper, some pink Himalayan salt, and some liquid sweetener. Y'all, this is so good. So good. So I'm just going to take one little quick squeeze of, y'all know that's how I measure my liquid. Hey, Susie. And I'm going to, y'all know I love my pepper, so I'm going to put my pepper in there. I don't think my daughter puts the salt and pepper, but, you know, I got to do it. So, I'm just going to mix that up. So, we've got mustard, a little bit of ketchup. The ketchup is really just to add that little tiny bit of thing. You could put some hot sauce in there, right? So, this is like a yum yum sauce. I may put a little, it's a little pale. I'm going to put just a smidge more of yellow mustard. So, that would probably be a whole tablespoon of yellow mustard. Five scoops of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of mustard, a tablespoon of ketchup. And that makes a really nice sauce. So what I'm going to do now, if I can locate it, y'all can never locate my goodies. So that's one thing that moving and getting into a new place that I am just struggling with is remembering like where I'm putting my little stuff. Like if Katie was here, she'd put her hands right on it. My little funnel. But I don't have that. That's okay. We're going to work around that. So, moving can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. I want you all to be able to see. I'm going to put it in my little container. I'm not emptying this out and starting fresh because this really was just made. And this is fantastic on wings. Um, oh, what it's really good on is the uh, egg roll in a bowl. Oh, so good. Y'all ever feel like you need to concentrate without one of those little funnels? So, I got enough in there for now. Mm, really good. So, this is a yum yum sauce. Now, what you'll want to do with your own yum yum, y'all, it's everywhere, but it's so good, is you want to kind of measure what works for you. If it's too mustardy, then you want to add a little more ketchup. You know what I'm saying? So, this is something that you'll want to flavor your own and make it your own sauce. So, that's something you'll want to learn to do in the kitchen as you're learning to create keto. And that's what I wanna teach you guys. So I really wanna teach you how to navigate in your kitchen. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be hard. It just is really, really simple. So I try to keep it as simple as possible and everything that I do um, help you to be able to recreate that. I hope this light's not too much. If it is, I could turn it off. No, it's good on. Hey Miriam, hey Ruth, hey Sherry. So, I'm just going to take a regular tortilla. This is my Mama Lupe's. They smell so good. Um, I'm trying to be very mindful now of my each individual food. So, I want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do. 
so I'm going to get my little stuff out of the way so I can rinse my little leaf off. Let's take care of that. And the good thing about my little camper is I can have my little hideaway here. So I'm just going to take, you, you definitely, hey Carmen, hey Darcy, you definitely want to take your romaine lettuce and, and rinse it off. You don't want to just willy-nilly it. So I'm just going to take one leaf there, do a rinse. Now I'm going to tell you, you can store your salads that are leftovers, you can store them in a mason jar as well, which is super good. Hey, Saretta. Um, but like I said, I do mine in those, but whenever I store my lettuce, I mean my salad, I don't, if this makes sense, I don't store my lettuce in with it. Like my lettuce, I, I do individually because if you start cutting lettuce and, and, you know, making lettuce up, um, then it kind of gets brown and turns and I don't want mine to do that. So I'm just going to dry it off a bit and I'm going to take that middle stem out this romaine is nice and crisp. Um, one of my favorite ones to use, hey Donnie, is um, Boston or Butter Lettuce. It's super crisp, super tender, really, really good. So I'm gonna put this in my plate so it doesn't get wet. So I've got my tortilla. I've just put some simple lettuce over the top of that. And if you do not have scissors in your kitchen, you really should, hey Madonna. Because scissors are so easy, I'm just going to basically uh, scissor up my black olives because they are a very, very good source of fat. And you have to be careful with black olives whenever you purchase them. You have to make sure you look at your labels. Some are higher than others, so definitely check that out because I have found them with as high as 2 grams of carbohydrates. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Angela. So... Scissors in your kitchen are a must for me. They are good for cutting up bacon because I don't cook the long strips with bacon. I do want to try the bacon that you can kind of curl up into a knot. That looked very interesting to me. So I've got my lettuce. I've got my um, black olives there. So y'all, I said the tuna fish is super good. Hey, Monica, super, super good for the tuna fish. So I'm just gonna take a little scoop of that. You can use chicken salad too, but I'm just on this tuna fish thing where I really think it's just so good for me. And in my tossed salad, I've got egg, which I've got egg in my tuna fish, so I'll probably, in my eggs, I just really keep whole in the bag. Y'all can see, like, there's a whole egg in there. So I just keep my whole egg in there. I've got ham. I've got, hey, Melissa. I've got broccoli, I've got cucumber, so you can see it's all those veggies and ham. Hey, Tabby. So I'm just gonna put those veggies on top there. Yay, hands are clean. And so it's got avocado, it's got broccoli, it's got a little bit of everything on here. So pretty much what I've done is I have just taken my leftovers that I've had for the week and I'm reusing those. Hey, Jamie Lynn. And I'm making myself a nice tortilla, okay? So you can just fold it over. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can fold it up. But, you know, this makes a super, super great lunch. It's filling. You've got your protein. You've got your veggies. Please don't negate your veggies. Um, now, there's some of you that just aren't veggie eaters, and that's okay. But you can do um, keto even if you're um, a vegan. I have a friend of mine who does that. Hey, Renee. Um, so it's got my good fats in here. So I really have everything that I need for a nice little lunch there. Now, there's another thing that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to put that out of the way. How many of you like chocolate milk? Y'all drop me a two below if you like chocolate milk. Have you been missing your chocolate milk? Let me tell you. I miss chocolate milk. So, I thought, I haven't made my chocolate milk yet, so let me make one of those. So, I've got my little blender, and I've got my little... Y'all, this is a single-serve blender thing. It is amazing. So I love this. So I'm just gonna take my blender and I have some almond milk. Almond milk keeps a very long time. You wanna get unsweetened. That's super, super important. Jamie Lynn likes chocolate milk. Ruth likes chocolate milk. This is for y'all. Um, this is only 30 calories per serving. It's one gram of carbohydrates. Some of that is fiber though. Less than a gram is fiber. And this is for one cup. So we want to get my little measuring thing. So for those of you who know, sometimes we don't know what a cup is. So that's when we do want to measure. So I'm, that's one and that's two. So I'm only going to use a half a cup because y'all know I'm trying to back off my carbs a little bit. Almond milk tastes really good. It's a great substitute. You have almond milk, 
coconut milk, um, cashew milk. There's lots of milk options. And then I'm just going to add the same amount in water. So that is, okay. y'all know I don't normally measure a lot of things, but this I want to measure. So I've got one cup here. Now, um, those of you who know me know I have an amazing cream that I use for this. So I see lots of you are on here are my cream drinkers. So I'm just going to take a pack of my cream, which also has collagen, MCT oil, all of that good stuff in it. I take pills when I have to. Y'all saw me take my vitamins, but I try to only take those when I need them. So I'm going to put that little cream. Yes, I did just put the whole pack in there. You can put half a pack if you want, but it's very keto friendly. It's good for you. It's got MCT oil in it. So we're really making this a packed chocolate milk packed full of goodness. And then the other thing I've got here is it is um, a chocolate drink flavoring, totally keto, Swiss cacao. If you're interested in that, please send me a message. I can get you some. It smells so good, y'all. All right, so this is really going to be good. Really going to be good. You could do this hot or you could do it cold. I'm going to throw a couple cubes of ice. See, I don't know if my blender can handle ice. Maybe I should just leave the ice out. Let's see. Let's leave the ice out and see what it does with just a cup. Because I don't want to overdo and then have to go backwards. So, I got my lid on good. Oh, I'm so excited. So, I like to blend it really well because I don't like the chunks. If, if you know anything about collagen, collagen can be a little chunky. So, well, I've got my self-stirring mug for my cream. Does this not look like the best chocolate milk ever? What? Hold on, let me get uh, let me get some ice for my glass. How many of y'all do ice in your chocolate milk? I know my parents, they do ice in all of their milks. So what to do with my little glass? Here we go. So chocolate milk is just oh, I got some water in that stuff. That's when I took my vitamins. Chocolate milk is just one of those things that are hard to find substitutes for. But this smells so good. Y'all, I've not had chocolate milk since I've done keto. I've been doing keto seven months. This is my first chocolate milk. I'm really excited about this. So it has a little lid. I, this is something my parents gave me, so I don't even know where it came from. But oh. So it looks nice and thick like a chocolate milk. Not too thick, but just right. So a nice chocolate milk. Let's see. Y'all, that is so good. All right, so um, it's got a little sweetness to it. It's got the chocolatey. It's, look, that is some good chocolate. Good chocolate. So I've got my, my chocolate milk. I've got my salad leftovers recreated. So it's got the tuna salad and the leftover toss salad. If y'all enjoyed this, please share it out. Um, if you're interested in getting with me on this. And now, but wait, there's more. So, y'all know that my niece is a photographer, and she saves every horrible picture I have ever taken. But she was nice enough that whenever we were in the process of taking these pictures, she would crop me from it. Because, you know, from right here, I don't look really too, too bad, right? So, at least I thought so, like, way back then when. So, she's like, saw my pictures that I posted yesterday in my little cute shirt. And by the way, I have another one on today. So I, I'm really proud at my progress of where I'm at right now. So I thought I would print out what she gave me. So this was the picture I printed yesterday, right? Y'all seen that? <sighs> Y'all look. So when your scale starts telling you a story, you just take yourself a picture because a picture speaks volumes. Would y'all look at that? Oh my goodness. Oh, is it okay to use Hershey's sugar-free syrup and almond milk? Yes, I believe so. Just check the carbs on there, girl. Um, so yeah, this is huge. So if you are new to keto and you want to follow me on my journey, or you want to join our 15 day fat loss, uh, fat burning challenge, um, where we will learn all the things keto, give you all the tools that you need. All you need to do is get a little kit, message me kit or drop the word kit below and I'll get your pricing on the kit. This 15-day fat burning challenge is going to be amazing. We have seven coaches now that have joined us. So, we have got a wealth of experience coming into this into this little event that we've got. It's going to be very casual. We're going to share recipes. We're going to share apps. We're going to share um, 
all of our personal experiences. There are so many things to learn on keto. My first month, I lost zero pounds and I felt terrible. I didn't know all the stuff there was to know and I still don't, but I know more now that I can be more successful. So if you want to be more successful with keto, please send me a message or drop kit below and I will get back with you. This is amazing. Hey, Juliana. So we are really, really excited about this. Teaching you simple stuff like this. Stuff that I bring to you all the time. Um, how do you, how, what, do, what do you eat? What's the meal plan? What's all that look like? This is what my meal plan looks like, guys. Like, I just put together what I want in the moment. Um, I asked people yesterday what they had. I had someone say, two boiled eggs, two sticks of cheese. I had people say, oh, I went to Arby's and I got a sandwich with no bun. I had people say, I did wings, I did celery. So, you can do all sorts of things. It's not too tough. So, y'all share this out. Tag a friend. Um, share it in a group, share it on your page, but just share it out and let people know that we are willing and able to help people and we want to challenge you to be your best. So if you are tired of looking like this, as I was fasting with coffee, awesome. And you want some change in your life, please message me. Angela is in our 15 day challenge. Please message me and let's get you started strong because if you're just brand new to keto, then I can help you. The one thing I can say is I'll tell you like it is. Like if this, if I woke up every morning and I said I never wanted a donut again, I would be lying to y'all. I could have really knocked someone down the other day at Longhorns for one of them rolls. But I had a group of friends with me and they were like, girl, you know, you don't want that bread. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I don't want that bread. So having a support system is huge. Just absolutely huge. So if you don't have a support system and you need one, comment group below. We will get you a support group. Um, if you've been in groups where they're kind of judgmental and they're like, ah, 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 you shouldn't be eating that tortilla. Well, if you're eating the tortilla and you're doing pretty good by doing that, then keep doing that. If you're eating that tortilla and you're not losing weight, then maybe you need to back off the tortillas. But it's a learning process and we teach you that and we're patient with you. Angela says, can't wait, not new, but need all the support I can get. And that's right. You know, I was doing it a whole month and I was, and I did it six months before I found out there was two grams of sugar in a packet of Splenda. I mean, two grams of um, carbohydrates in one little packet of Splenda. Y'all, these are the things we need to know. There are hidden carbohydrates. When I first started, I was like, hidden carbohydrates, what are those? I'm like, I'm reading. I know what's out there. Well, you don't think to read the Splenda label. You just don't. You just assume. Splenda doesn't have any carbs, but it does. So, we help make you aware of these things. We teach you how to read labels. We're going to teach you all the good stuff. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. By the time the 15 days are up, you're going to be so motivated, so psyched, so ready to go. Like, you're going to be ready to be coaching other people into keto. Looking forward to the sport. That's right, Ruth. It's going to be awesome. So, we're going to have an amazing time. I'm so glad that y'all showed up and came and joined me for lunch. I'm going to enjoy my lunch now. Probably a working lunch. It's been real busy. Y'all send me some uh, messages or drop comments below. I will get back to you and have a wonderful day. Have a great lunch. Thanks for sharing, Carmen. Y'all have a great lunch. Uh, well, it's getting a little late for lunch. This is actually my breakfast. So fasting is good, as Angela mentioned. Uh, mayo, zero carbs, olive oil, mayo, one carb. Really? See, that's what I'm talking about, Angela. We assume all mayonnaise is created equal. It is not. It is not. And those are the things. Thank you, Sherry. Those are all the, the good little things. Ketchup. I miss ketchup. My dad found this. He found this, like, on the shelf. We have to learn to read labels. He's just shopping. He's like, do-do-do-do-do. Oh, that says no sugar added. Let me look at the label. He brings us home, and I'm like, when, Dad? Hey, Dina. Thank you, Beverly. Hey, Sharon. So, all these little tips of what to eat, where to get it from, the tortillas, the microwave pork rinds. Y'all, there's stuff to know. So we teach you all the little tips, tricks, how to have like a mug cake, how to really like hit it and win, how to not feel like garbage on keto, getting your vitamins in, getting your electrolytes in. I didn't even know what electrolyte was. Like it, it took me a while to wrap my head around the fact that electrolyte and water were not the same thing. Yeah, I didn't even know what it was. Like what's an electrolyte? So, now I get my electrolytes in. So, I do all that. Learning so much. I'm so glad, Dina. Hey, Lisa. So, you know, there's so much to learn. So, you take me 
and you add six more people to that, that's what the fat burning challenge is about. That's what's going on in there. If you want to be a part of that, it's starting Monday. So today is the day. Today is the day. So I've been so busy this week getting back with people that I'm just, that's why I have to do my fast little keto kitchens. But I want y'all to be a part of that. I want you to know that you can do keto without planning a whole elaborate meal. Like I can do keto. I can grab my wrap. I'm satisfied. And then, oh, let me show you. What do I do for dinner? Okay. So this is what I do for dinner. I'm like, okay, what do I got in my fridge? So I've got better cheddar. I use that as a snack. They're little sausages. Let me see what I want. Guess what? Raw shrimp just went over because you know what? It's easy. I can take this. I can put some Alfredo over it. Done. Done. Two grams in my sugar-free creamer. My demon, I know. They're all there. I choose it. Ah, oh, Angela, but you've got some goodness coming. Yay. I'm learning. Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to take my raw shrimp. I'm going to let that thaw out. Even if it wasn't thawed out, it would thaw out. I'm going to put some Alfredo sauce to make my Alfredo. I'm just going to use cream cheese, butter, heavy whipping cream, salt, pepper, a little garlic. Put it in my pan. Let it all melt. Um, hey, Misty. And then throw this in there and probably have the rest of my salad with it. Dinner's done. So no thinking about it. Like I really literally just made my dinner decision just now right here in front of you guys. It's not hard to keto. Um, this is going to feed my whole family. So I could do sauteed um, shrimp. I could do my noodles in with this. Y'all know I like my noodles. I like my noodles. These are kind of like ramen noodles. They're called skinny pasta. See those? Super good. SkinnyPastaUSA.com. Uh, Weight Watchers makes these. It's a konjac. It's a fibrous plant is what it is. So I'm going to take these with my heavy whipping cream, my shrimp, maybe have a side salad. Dinner's done. Super, super easy. Keto does not have to be hard. Keto can be on the fly, on the go, in a hotel, in the hospital, cafeteria. It can be anywhere. Hey, Lisa. So, um... Zoodles here. There you go. That's, Zoodles is the same thing. It's a konjac noodle. So, there, some of them call them miracle noodles. You know, there's different kinds. I could even play around with doing um, a roll in a bowl with it. I could put my shrimp in the egg roll in a bowl, but I don't have the stuff to make that. So, um, you know, you just start thinking, what can I do with this shrimp? I always start with my meat. Y'all, there's times I just start pulling stuff out of my fridge, setting it on the counter, and that's it. You know, like, what am I, what am I going to make with this? You know, what, what do I do with it? If I have, um, I had someone ask me about kale today. If I have kale, I'm going to tell you what you can do with kale. You can make a keto Zupa Toscana soup, like at, at, at Olive Garden. And instead of using potatoes, you can use jicama or you can use rutabaga or you can use turnip or you can not even include that. And it's still amazing. So you can make anything keto. It's just a matter of taking a little bit of extra time. So if I'm going to take a little extra time to go from this to this, it's worth it. Hey, Jamie, it's worth it. Um, so you guys send me a message. You know, if you want in the 15 day challenge, you like stuff like this, you want more stuff like this. It's 15 consecutive days of me plus six other people, and it's going to be amazing. So I'm so glad y'all joined me today. Y'all have a wonderful day and keep calm and keto on over and out from keto gaming y'all have an awesome day